I haven't done an unpacking video for a while, basically because I haven't been asked. I've had various packages come through. Um, I suppose most recently, I'm oh, sorry. I'll be tender. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've had, um, I have bought various things over the Christmas period and since Christmas. Um, but I just haven't been asked to do an unpacking video. I haven't been excited enough to do one. Um, but anyway, I am excited now because it's just come through the post that I'd like to share with you YouTubers. Um, it is concerning something about scan lines. So don't go, oh Christ, not again. Uh, this particular product has potential to be really, really interesting for a lot of people. Um, uh, not just for people like me that are a bit sort of anal, a bit nerdy about scan lines, or the authentic look, I should say. Um, <clears throat> I've explained on previous videos about what scan lines sort of are, and I've given you examples of what uh, things like retro consoles should look like, should they be displayed on, on a relevant um, a TV set or, or arcade video cabinet, etc. Now, I obviously know that a lot of people that play retro games or play games full stop will be using LCD screens or uh, plasma screens which are high def <clears throat> and I'm sure everyone knows that, that on such a screen uh, natively you can't get scan lines so i.e. if you've got Super Nintendo for instance and I keep using this example all the time but if you've got a Super Nintendo you hook it up to an LCD screen you get a image that isn't actually too bad, it's okay, but you get no scan lines on it. Um, and that personally for me really, really does grip my shit, it really does. Because I, I, I don't know what it is, but unless I'm playing something that looks as it should look, or as it was designed to look, I tend not to play it. So of course all the HD stuff that's out now, you've got to use it really on a, on a high def display. Um, you know, you wouldn't dream of using an old, an old TV to, to um, not to get the best out of it. You know, not to display an Xbox game. You know, like Call of Duty or something. So it's the same kind of thing for me for retro games. Now, I've obviously sort of um, concentrated on previous videos to do specifically with scan lines, and, and like I said, I've shown you what they look like. Uh, most of you will know anyway, and if you don't, you'll probably remember what they used to look like if you haven't got a TV or an appropriate display to display them on. Something that has been released, um, uh, it was released last Friday by an individual in Germany who's developed it, I'm not sure he's developed it in himself, but there's been a great, it, it's basically a community based hardware product um, that's been released. And it is, uh, for all intent and purpose, it is a scanline generator. And what it enables you to do is connect up a, let's try and put it simply, if if you've got a, um, oh, let's think, let's take it back to its basics. If you've got an Xbox 360, they natively have a VGA app, you can get a VGA lead for an Xbox 360, and you can it, and you can connect it up to a, an LCD screen, a plasma, or a computer monitor. And it will give you an absolute mega pin-sharp picture. Now for games that have come out on the Xbox 360, the old retro type games, um, I'm thinking more along the lines of things like cave games, for instance, um, they are, in effect, they are a low-res game that were bought out in the arcades and are meant to be uh, displayed in low res. You know, to get the scan lines, get a nice crisp picture. Well, you can't, you can't do that through the Xbox 360 on a VGA output because you lose the scan lines. The fact that it's on VGA means it's high res, means you don't get the old style scan, scan lines being displayed. So this device could be used to go between an Xbox 360 VGA connection and an LCD screen and it should give you scan lines, it actually emulates scan lines, it overlays the image with some scan lines and from the pictures that I've seen on the internet it looks really really cool so that would be good for me even from a CRT tube because of the fact it's VGA output 
I lose scan lines because it's it's high res. So I could put this device in between the Xbox and the arcade cab, and for games like you know all the all the cave ports, I should be able to emulate the old style scan lines to make the image look a lot more authentic. Now. It basically works with any device that has a VGA signal. So anything that accepts a VGA signal, or anything, so any, sorry, any any display device that accepts a VGA signal, it will work with, and any device that outputs a VGA signal, i.e. a console, it will work with. It basically works in in um, uh, within the same uh, video signal feed. So you put it in between, uh, for instance, the Xbox. <laughs> And the, and the appropriate display that you're using. And the other advantage of this, in theory, is the fact that you can buy a, a scan RGB to a VGA converter, which is what I've got, and what I've used on some of the videos to show you the scan lines. Now, I don't need this device to connect to my arcade cabinets. It doesn't give me any benefit at all for low res consoles, because I've got them. I can already have and reproduce scan lines natively. It's absolutely fine because I'm using a CRT tube, and the way I connect it all, it all works fine. If I wanted to display a Super Nintendo on on an LCD screen, you know, computer screen or a, or an LCD TV, I will lose my scan lines if I use my connection method that I've got. If I put this box of tricks in that I've got here in between, in theory, again based on what I've seen already on some examples it will give me scan lines and it will look it should look a shed load better it it really should um, so so this is a device here again I'm not going to go too much into what it can and what it can't do I'm going to do another video of some tests that I'm doing and I'll do some before and after tests and let you see actually what difference it makes if it delivers what it promises to deliver uh, as I said based on what I've seen as examples and and some of the demo shots that we've given, it is some mega bit of kit this is, it really is. Um, like I said, it comes from Germany, it was a very reasonable price in my eyes, because there are devices you can get already that do this, or do a similar, well yeah, do this, do this, but they aren't cheap. You know, in UK uh, currency, you can be paying anywhere between two, what, say from 150 quid for a second hand unit up to a brand new unit for 250 quid, which is a fair amount of cash. This device costs a very reasonable, in my book, um, 49 euros, including delivery. So it works out at what, about 44 quid or something like that, I don't know. 44, 45, I'm not sure what the conversion rate is at the moment, I think that's it works out that. But I pre-ordered this, it was sent out last Saturday, and I've just got it delivered today, and I've been absolutely gagging for this, I really have. Because this will um, uh, really open up, in theory, the um, uh, the authentic look for both myself, for certain, only for limited use, admittedly, but a lot more for people that use LCD screens as a means to display their retro consoles. And then we have it here, that's the device. Now as you can see, or hopefully you can see, you've got a VGA, well not VGA, sorry the proper term for it is a D sub 15 connector, which is what you would associate with a computer input or output uh, connector for video signals. And you've got one of those each side. So you've got a video in and you've got a video out. So that's from your console for instance, and that's going to your uh, device, uh, your display device. Uh, you've got a potentiometer here, which you can actually turn, etc., to increase the the level of scan lines. So you can make them small, you can make them larger, which is quite a useful feature. And you've also got various dip switch settings on here. And I'm not going to go specifically into that about what they do, but they're all to do with actually making, actually altering the image in a way. In reality. Um, uh, this uh, little gizmo should give some absolutely great results in theory. I'm hoping I'm not bigging this up too much and I plug it in and it turns out to be crap, but, <laughs> but hopefully it will be fine. Um, it will give me some absolutely great results and, and to have a device that enables you to have 
um, uh, scan lights on on a HD device because this is this is really what it's meant for in many ways. You know, so you can display it on an LCD screen and you can get the authentic scan lines. It it, it should look it should look really really good. But like I said, I mean the purpose that I've got it for isn't really for that. It's to do things really with my existing uh, console uh, collection I've got. Not the uh, not the low res ones, but certainly to do with certain games on the on the PlayStation 2 uh, specifically, really. Um, and there's various games on that. There's various games on the Xbox. I've got the Xbox as well, not 360, the original Xbox. Um, and also the GameCube, because those three uh, consoles are are natively they are high res consoles. And some of the games for them, let's think of, um, let's think of some, to give you a bit of an idea. Um, oh, Christ. Um, Gradius 5. Take Gradius 5 for PlayStation 2. That is actually a high res coded game. So you get a bit of screen flicker on there, and it's, uh, because it's interlaced, what I hope that this device will do will be to get rid of that screen green flicker and also get me some proper scan lines on there so it should look I mean, it should look absolutely mint in theory on my CRTs but you should be able to get a similar um, sort of experience on an LCD so what I'll do is I'll do various tests on on another video that I'll upload or I'll actually construct it first obviously but I'll do some various stuff I'll have a bit of a play around with this see what I can do with it and I will show you what it's doing on my CRT uh, TV and the difference it will make. Hopefully, it'll be extremely positive. And then um, also showing you what it does on LCD screen, which I would imagine for uh, the majority of people that are going to be viewing this, this is what you're going to going to be impressed by. So, for a small uh, sum in my eyes, it should be an absolutely fantastic product. Um, you may need another box of tricks. An upscaler, but again, I'll go into that as as I as I do my video tests on this. Um, I'll explain to you what they are. I think I've mentioned about an upscaler before in my previous videos. But yeah, really looking forward to this. So uh, watch this space, and I'll get some some demo information up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.